lovelies! So today's video is going to be all about the basic tools that you need to create most nail art looks. The first item I'm going to be talking about are dotting tools and this is actually a set of four and it has four different um, sizes on the ends and then the exact same four sizes on the other end. They're not like the same like this one has like a large dot and this one has a really tiny dot but there's only four sizes. Um, at least in this set, but I do recommend getting a real dotting tool I know there are a lot of things on Pinterest about how to like make your own dotting tools using sewing pins Sorry, my cat is moving the laptop because he's being fussy and he's mad that I'm not paying enough attention to him right now But anyway back to the video um, I do recommend getting real dotting tools because they're going to last a lot longer. They are metal so you can clean them with pure acetone It makes it easier having um, a set of dotting tools because because then you can do like all of one look um, without having to like clean like each individual one. If you have to do like flowers in separate colors, you can have a couple going at once and it's just nice. I recommend that the first item should be dotting tools. The next item on my list is a set of nail art brushes. These three actually came in a set of 15 that I got off of eBay and I only paid like $3 and it was free shipping. Yes, I had to wait a month for them to get to me from because they're like from China or Japan or something like that, but totally worth it. These are awesome. You get a bunch of different ones. You get like an angled one for detailing. You get one with like a shorter handle so you can do really small detail work that's super tiny. And then like I have some stripers. I have like five or six different types of stripers. And it just makes nail art really simple when you have all the tools that you need on hand. And if you don't want to purchase a full set of nail brushes, the next thing that I'm going to recommend are a nail striper. Um, I recommend the first colors that you get are probably white and black. They're going to be used in a lot of different designs and you can use them for different things. And yeah, these I got from Dollar Tree. They're perfectly fine. They're the LA Colors Art Deco ones. I have them in like 15 or 16 colors. You can see up here all the little blue caps. But um, these were some of the first things that I had for my nail art collection, and I still use them pretty regularly, so I do recommend getting a few of these. One of the items that I would consider most important when doing nail art is a quick dry top coat. I have a couple right here. I have Sesh Feet, NYC's In a New York Minute, and Posh. Um, I definitely recommend using a quick dry top coat just because it's going to decrease the amount of time that you spend on your nail art and also help make it last um, because if you're going to be spending like an hour or more on your nail art then you definitely want it to last a while and you don't want it to chip off right away. And the last items that I am going to show you are the Conad um, plates and stamper things like that. Um, they have a bunch of different plates. You can get a whole bunch from a company called Bundle Monster. I will link that below for like $15 for like 30 plates or something ridiculous like that. I'll link a bunch of different types below and you can go and see what designs they are. But stamping is seriously a huge part of nail art. It makes it really easy to do really complex fun designs. And yeah, I recommend getting um, the actual Conad Stamper. I really, really like this one because it's nice. It's just like the right amount of squishiness to roll over your nail. Um, you have the large side and then you also have a small side for like detail work and like the really tiny stamps on here. Um, but yeah, I recommend a set of stamping plates, the Conad double-ended stamper. And then I don't recommend the metal scraper that comes with the stamper or that you buy. Um, from Conad, I recommend a using like an old like credit card, gift card type thing. Um, it's going to scrape a lot more evenly because you have like a wider surface and it's not going to scratch your plates either. And you can wipe it off super easy. I obviously have not cleaned mine since the last time I used it. But you can wipe it off really, really easily with a little bit of nail polish remover. So that concludes your very basic um, nail art supply toolbox per se. And I hope that this helped you a little bit or at least provided you with some resources to get some of these tools. And if you have any questions about um, how to use any of these things or if you have recommendations on what you keep in your nail art toolbox that you think is, is an essential, please leave me a comment below and let me know. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.